How you doing? Good. Are those what I think they are? 1966 Aurora slot cars. 1966? Those are old ones. Yeah, these things bring back memories, because I had slot cars when I was a kid. 73, 74, 8 or 9 years old. Hey, uh, yeah. You probably do the same thing I did and crash them all the time? Crashed them all the time and cut out the wheel wells and put the bigger tires on there. Yes. And uh, We used to cut the track off and just shoot them off into the couch, <laughs> or into the walls. <laughs> my 1966 Aurora slot car set. It was one of my favorite toys for about a year, two years, and I played with it religiously. I'd like to actually sell them today so I can buy something for my grandson and my wife. The beauty of these is that I have the actual guide pins and all the accessories. That's pretty cool. I mean, every kid in the neighborhood had these. Yes. Okay? And, um... We would literally get together, and we'd all take our own track over to one of the friends' house, and we'd set up in the garage like a million sections that went back and forth and ramped over each other. It was absolutely great. I love these things. Actually, these are my childhood slot cars, and came across them again, and it just brought back a flood of memories. Yeah, this is really cool. This is a Batmobile. It was an American company that made them, and it's just a simple, great little design. I mean, you have two wires right on the track, and the contacts contact with them, and right in the center of the track, there was a slot, and there was a pin right there, so they wouldn't fly out. Supposedly wouldn't fly out. <laughs> you had to get really good at the corners because, you know, you go through fast, I mean, that thing would just fly out of the track, and then it was breaking, and then it was going to cost you something. And all your buddies would beat you. <laughs> So do, uh, do you got any track with them? No tracks at all. God, it would be cool to see these go. I agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to play with them, too. OK, and how much you want for them? Everything along with all the cars, the accessories, the kit, I'm looking at around 320. Um, I'm sure they're collectible, but I don't know if they're worth 5 bucks a piece or they're worth $100 a piece. I really don't. Um, my buddy, he's right down the street. I mean, this guy lives and breathes antique toys. I know it's a little weird, but hey. <laughs> uh, let me call him up and have him take a look at these. Do you mind? I don't mind at all. OK. I'm real excited to have an expert come in, and hopefully we can negotiate a good settlement on the, on the set. After talking on the phone, man, I've brought one of these from the shop, <laughs> so. <laughs> OK, cool, man. Good. What do we got? We got a pit Oh, oh, oh. Sweet. <laughs> got the Batmobile. That's the Batmobile. awesome. One of my personal favorites. Aurora was around for a long time. They had model kits. Of course, the slot cars were really big. And in the 70s, when we had the big gas problems, of course, it was a lot harder to manufacture the plastics at the time. And that was kind of the end of an era. Yeah, they're a lot of fun, man. And there's still a big market for slot cars. I mean, all the 60s stuff is really hot right now. The Hot Wheels and <laughs> exactly. Tonka trucks. Exactly. <laughs> it was a good time to grow up back then, you know? Yeah. I'm not seeing any cracks or none of the wheel wells are cut. The chrome's real shiny. That's what we look for on that there, too. Overall, they look really good condition, really clean. So what are they worth? Well, after looking at everything, overall, with the pit kit and the accessories, they're probably about 350 value wise. 350 is what it's worth? You could probably get about 125 for the Batmobile all by itself. Okay. All right, thanks, man. Cool. All right, anytime. Take care. Take hey care. dude, hang out for a little while. I got, I got some other stuff to talk to you about. Okay, cool. You know, you got all those baby boomers that grew up with these toys, and those are the same guys that are buying back their old childhood, so they're going to fly off the shelves if he gets them. Um, I mean, what's your best price on them? Well, after hearing what your expert said, uh, especially on the Batmobile alone, I was looking at about 250 Um, 250 Take 200 bucks for them? How about we diddle in the middle at 225? Um, deal. Okay, I'll meet you right over there, man. Excellent, thank you. I'm walking out with $225, and I'm going to go straight to buy something for my grandson. I love these slot cars, but I don't think it would be something my grandson would be interested in.